you still stretch before you have sex? You scream, get ready for the dismount. Man, I'm not doing that again until I'm a black belt. I'm not Batman, for <laughs> sake. And as soon as I get in the house, I take off all my clothes and lay on the ground. That is relationship stuff. Women putting us through it. What do you want from us? Women always ask me, did you cheat? Women want to know, did you cheat? Are you cheating on me? Are you cheating? You cheating, you cheating, you cheating. Well, well bitch, did I win? Did I win? <laughs> I'm cheating. The relation trip, that's what it's called. <laughs> nobody want to be, nobody really want to be in. What, why you fall in love? What's love? Forget love, fall in like. Because when you're in light, you do the same thing you do when you love somebody. Exact same. You go places, you have fun, you lay together, you love, you, you do all the stuff. You can fake like I love you. I, I, you just don't say the other word. <laughs> same amount of letters, less stress. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> then you get in a relationship and you move in with the person. Now y'all live together. And, and then, men, you accept this stress. You said, hey, I'm going to live with this woman. So that's your fault. You don't have to live with her. So now you got to accept the responsibilities of living with your woman. You ever, you ever had this? You ever have a curfew? You a grown ass man, but you got a curfew. <laughs> but you live with your woman. So now you out with your boys. Now you're looking at your watch every other minute. <laughs> they going to talk to everybody in here, huh? <laughs> now you get in your ride and you go home. And now you got to sneak in your own damn house. <laughs> your house. You pull up, you pull up, you turn the lights off like a drive-by. You get out, you creep up to the door, and this is what I do, I'm real slick. I stick my thumb through the keyhole, grab the rest of the keys so they don't make no noise, turn it and sneak in the door. And as soon as I get in the house, I take off all my clothes and lay on the ground. So that way, no matter when she come out, I'll be like, I was sleeping. And the biggest part, the biggest part to me of being in a relationship is you gotta, if you're a jealous man, forget being jealous. If I got a beautiful woman, I'm glad she's beautiful. I'm not no jealous man. I don't have time to be jealous. I feel like the things another man can do for you, he can't do for you while I'm with you, so why am I gonna be jealous? Like a lot of these men out here, they get mad if you wanna buy their girlfriend a drink. What? <laughs> do you know how expensive alcohol is? No, 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 not D-Ray. I wish, I wish my woman would walk up talking about some, D-Ray, D-Ray, what? He wanna buy me a drink. Well, get the hell away from me before you mess it up. <laughs> <laughs> and, and before she get close, I say, get me along, Alan, and I walk away. I think the secret of surviving in New York without going crazy is learning how to block things out. All the extraneous noise you hear, you know? Like car alarms, for instance. Everybody knows that car alarms are annoying, but nobody ever mentions the fact that they are also completely useless. <laughs> because when is the last time, and this is not a rhetorical question, honestly ask yourself this, when is the last time you were lying in bed, heard a car alarm go off, and thought to yourself, oh my God, a car is being stolen. <laughs> 10 years ago, maybe? No, you think, somebody better shut that damn thing off. Or I'm gonna stab myself. You don't actually think a car is being stolen, right? And even if you did, it's not going to go do anything about it. I'm not Batman, for <laughs> sake. No, you're just gonna say, oh, sucks to be that dude, and put your pillow over your head and go to sleep, right? So then what is the point of a car alarm? if it doesn't get people out of their beds to come help you. So if I ever have a car alarm, if I ever have a car, <laughs> it's just gonna be a big speaker on the back of my car. And when everybody tries to break in, it's just gonna go, attention, free bags of weed. Ah, ah, ah. Come get your free bags of weed. Ah, 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 ah. Because then people are gonna come running. Maybe not the kind of people who can help a whole lot, but people nonetheless. I'm trying to be more creative lately. I'm working on a book right now. I'm pretty excited about it because uh, some authors write in first person and others write in third person. But I'm writing my book in fifth person. So every sentence starts out with, I heard from this guy who told somebody. 
It's going to be a long book. <laughs> I think the worst time to have a heart attack is during a game of charades. Especially if your teammates are bad guessers. <laughs> game over means game over. <laughs> On Thursday, I changed the names of all my fish. And they didn't seem to mind. Especially dead Tony. <laughs> One of my friends just spent $700 for a couch that turns into a bed. And I said to him, dude, you wasted your money. Every couch turns into a bed. You just gotta lie on it long ways. And if you drink enough beer, everything turns into a bed. And a little more makes everything a toilet. <laughs> uh, a couple weeks ago, I went into a sporting goods store and I bought a muscle shirt. <laughs> Those things should come with a warning. May lower self-esteem. Last week, I, uh, I lost my temper in my karate class. Man, I'm not doing that again until I'm a black belt. Because I can tell you, there's a difference between taking karate and receiving karate. Skinny guy receives. I got this stuff that makes my toilet water blue. It's called blueberry popsicles. I mean, you gotta eat a lot of them, but it works. I used to compete in sports a lot, and then I realized that you can buy trophies. Okay. Now I'm good at everything. I was in a bar the other night with some friends, and I had to go to the bathroom really bad, you know? So, so I went in there, and I, I sat down, and I looked up, and on the stall, somebody wrote, Metallica rules. And under that, somebody wrote, Metallica sucks. And under that, somebody wrote, You suck. <laughs> and under that, somebody wrote, Screw you. And I just thought, man, a lot of people crap with pens. Okay, see if you think this is bad. My boyfriend got mad at me recently for leaning like this while I performed oral sex. I'm tired. <laughs> He was like, could you be enthusiastic, please? <laughs> Not for nothing, but I've been with him five years, okay? His penis is in syndication at this point. <laughs> like, you want enthusiasm, make it do something I've never seen it do before. <laughs> like the dishes. <laughs> oh, I would be so enthusiastic. I'm like, go peeny, go peeny, go peeny. <laughs> yeah, you get sleepy, right? You ever fall asleep? Given performing oral sex? <laughs> What's so funny? I've done it. It's not that bad. Waking up is horrible. <laughs> Where am I? What is this? Do you have any relish? What is it? <laughs> I was in the park. I was at a hot dog stand. You still like sex, don't you? <laughs> now, it, you do, I know you do, because you're in your 20s, it's still fun. Yeah, sure, you still stretch before you have sex. You scream, get ready for the dismount. <laughs> now, in your 30s, things change. I'm not that excited anymore. Now I'm like, I made dinner, I get bottom. I called it. This is dirty, but I don't care. Sometimes I'll do it doggy style because you can watch television. <laughs> it's a very underrated position because it frees you up to multitask. Let's face it, the laundry is not going to fold itself, people. <laughs> you know that's true. But you have to be careful because you, if you have a guy who likes to talk during sex like I do, it's very aggravating. It's hard to get other stuff done. He's like, you like it like that? Oh, hello, I'm reading. I'm not bothering you. Why are you always talking and bothering and interrupting me? It's very annoying. 